Yes, back with another USS ship video. All the talk about Washington and South Dakota from my previous video made me realize that since I did South Dakota a long time ago, I might as well complete the South Dakota sisters, right? So, here you go. Yes! Yeah! Hey everyone, Akamukchik here. Today we are going to be talking about the big mammy herself, Massachusetts, a character I really wanted to talk about for a very long time. あ、僕の番ね。僕は普通のサウスダコタ級。えっと、はい。とにかく仲良くしよう。Massachusetts is a super rare battleship from Eagle Union. She is of the South Dakota class, and her sisters include Alabama and South Dakota herself. Her voice actress is the legendary and iconic Rie Takahashi, who also voiced Montpellier in Azure Lane. She is known for a lot of other roles like Megumin from Konosuba, Takagi-san from Teasing Master Takagi-san, Amelia from ReZero, and Hu Tao from Genshin Impact. Alright, so let's talk about naval references. The first reference is her nickname, Big Mammy, which is also the name of her first skill. This nickname was given as she was the heaviest ship ever launched out of Quincy, specifically the Four River Shipyard. She weighed a total of 45,233 tons, which was way higher than any other famous battleships launched from there. Now I'm not sure if this was coincidental, but perhaps the nickname was used in a design by giving her, you know, um, a huge heart. Yes, sounds about right. Anyway, her next skill is called 2,700 pounds of justice. This is a reference to our main guns, the 16-inch 45 caliber Mark VI guns, which we also have in Azure Lane. AP rounds fired from this gun weighed, you guessed it, 2,700 pounds. I know, I know, the gun in Azure Lane uses high explosive, but her rounds turn into super heavy AP no matter what gun you use, as long as a secondary gun is from Eagle Union. In a self-introduction line, she said she earned lesser battle stars than her sister, South Dakota, who earned 13 battle stars during her naval career. The line also talks about her hardly suffering from any damage. This is a reference to her despite being in 35 enemy engagements in 13 major Atlantic and Pacific campaigns during the war, her crew of 2,300 did not experience significant casualties. This reference of her belly getting hurt is also referenced in her skin, dressed to impress, which she says that it's fun to fight while avoiding her dress from getting dirty. あの時の姉と同じように全力で戦ってみたいな。服が汚れないように戦うの。楽しいかも。In one of her idol lines, she talks about a fight in Casablanca. The battleship she talks about is Jean Bart, and gotta be honest, it is very cute to see them getting shipped together. But anyway, this battle at Casablanca was also known as Operation Torch which was the invasion of French North Africa. There were many other ships involved during the fight, but let's just focus on Massachusetts and Jean Bart, the two main characters of the story. At the time, Jean Bart was incomplete as she had only half of her main battery installed, so she was used as a floating battery. Massachusetts and the American forces started bombarding the port first. The carrier ranger engaged the port before dive bombers, which successfully struck Jean Bart twice, causing a fire and significant deformation to her hull plating. But Jean Bart was not knocked out. Jean Bart then fired her salvos, but she couldn't see the American forces, because the French forces laid a smoke screen when they attempted to sortie. Massachusetts engaged Jean Bart at 7.25 am, and both of them continued to do so until 8.10 am. But despite all the major hits on Jean Bart, she was still standing. Her workers even managed to fix her back up and she continued to fight in the following days to come. 
That's why in Azulin, Massachusetts does have a certain level of respect to Jean Bart and would like to test her strength when she's fully constructed. When Massachusetts is the MVP, she asks if there are any other enemies left to fight. This could be a reference to the belief that she fired the final American 16 inch shell in World War II. I'm not sure how true this is, so if any of y'all do, feel free to share in the comment section down below. Alright, so let's talk about skills. Her first skill is called Big Mammy. For each Eager Union CA and or BB in your fleet, including this ship, increases this ship's firepower, anti-air, and evasion by 8%, which can be stacked up to 3 times. This is a very good skill because it complements her stats, mainly her firepower and anti-air. As of right now, she has the top 24 firepower stat and the top 5th anti-air stat among all the battleships and battlecruisers so far. It is also quite easy to achieve as she herself is considered, so all you need is 2 more Eagle Union heavy cruisers or battleships. That's a free 24% increase at max level, so yeah, this is really really good. Her next skill is called 2700 pounds of justice. When she deals damage to an enemy with her main gun, damage increase is based on the shell travelling distance, up to a maximum of 15%. When the ship's secondary gun slot is equipped with Eagle Union gear, the ammo time is changed to Super Heavy AP, and damage increase is based on shell travelling distance up to a maximum of 30% instead. This Super Heavy AP shell has 65, 135, and 115 modifiers and 20% chance to inflict armor break. This effect causes enemies to take 8% more damage for 6 seconds and only stacks with armor break caused by New Jersey and Valiant. Now I feel like the shell traveling distance is a quality of life improvement because no matter what, she'll get a boost in damage regardless of distance. It only depends on how far. But the most important thing is the super heavy AP shell conversion. The multipliers are amazing and even has a chance to armor break. Even the final increase of damage to 30% is a lot which complements her big mammy skill so her damage potential is very high. At first glance, some may say, oh no, so I cannot use the Mark 6 or the Mark 7 anymore because it is no longer high explosive. Yes, that is true, but I don't think that's entirely a bad thing because she can use whatever stats that certain guns have that are not as viable to begin with, like the Gold 44406mm BL-16. As compared to the very popular Mark 6, it gives a higher firepower stat of 45, while having similar total damage and reload. I also think that her conversion to Super Heavy Shell allows her to become your dedicated medium or heavy armor damage dealer. Trust me when I say that she becomes an absolute monster against those armor types. Since we are looking at gears already, we can jump straight to what I think would be the best options for Massachusetts. For main guns, as mentioned before, the normal 44406mm BL-16 is a good option. It has great damage and provides a 45 firepower stat boost. Using already AP guns are great as well, like the twin 147mm Mark A, 44460mm Type 94, or the 44406mm MLE 1938 prototype. For HE guns, you can still use them, but only if you have spares, as other ships will benefit more from a HE gun. As for secondaries, there's not many options as you'll need to use Eagle Union DD guns. So the two best that I narrowed down are the Twin 137mm from Gear Lab or the Twin 127mm. They are also great because of the anti-air stat they provide. Massachusetts has very high anti-air stats and it gets boosted from her big mammy skill, so more anti-air is really good for her. I know, the Twin 127mm is high explosive and has a slower shell speed than AP, it is still a good alternative and can therefore still be used. Alright, so let's talk about skins. I mean, how can I not love this default art? Like, everything about this is on point. Her hair, the pose, the jacket, there's just so much good drip here. I don't think I need to explain more, so I'll give her a solid 9 out of 10. Her next skin is called Dress to Impress. 
So take everything I love from her default skin and multiply them by a lot. This is absolutely stunning and beautiful and it fits right in with her sister's skin. Again, I don't think I need to explain more so a solid 9 out of 10 as well. Alright, so one of my thoughts about Massachusetts. She is an absolute beast. I always think of her whenever I need to face heavy armored enemies like some of the meta ship bosses. Even though her kit may sound restrictive, I see it as an opportunity to expand my team options. I can have her, plus another character as my flagship who has barrages and can equip HE guns. This way, I have both HE and AP coverage in my fleet. Her design is also very top tier, probably one of my favourite Eagle Union ships hands down. Easy top 5. Alright, so there you have it. Here are all my thoughts about Massachusetts. What do you guys think? Do let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.